Hey everyone, this is QA Shahin and in this video we are going to continue from the last video where we wrote a very simple test in Jasmine. So in the previous video what we did was we looked at the describe and the it block and all we did was we just had some logs and we tried to understand a little bit more about what the blocks were supposed to do and how to write them. So in this particular session, we are actually going to carry on from just that particular topic. And the first thing we're going to do is write a very simple class in JavaScript. In particular, we're going to write a calculator class. And then we are going to write some test using Jasmine as our test framework. So let's get started. So if you remember, Really quickly summarizing this, what we did was we had a describe block and inside this describe block we had some it blocks and then inside the describe we had another describe it and inside that we had some more it. And the whole idea of this particular area was to show that we were able to write a test which was represented as an it block and we could group tests inside describe blocks and so on. So before going any forward, let's make sure this actually works. So all I'm going to do is navigate to the folder. And when inside the folder, I'm just going to say Jasmine. And all this did was this ran all the test. And we know it ran all the tests because it printed out the comments which were inside the test. So let's go back to our test file. Okay. So we now know that all the three comments that we added in as part of this test were in fact displayed in the terminal. So we know that these tests were definitely being executed. However, they don't really add any value um, in the sense that they don't actually do anything. So why don't we actually try to write a meaningful test? In other words, let's write a test that actually does something. To try and describe this, what I'm going to do is write a very, very simple class in JavaScript that will be used to calculate numbers. So nothing really fancy. So let's just kind of go ahead with this. I'm going to say class and let's call this class calculator. And in this class, let's have a method called add. And in this particular add method, we are going to pass in two arguments. So the parameters we want in this case are just going to be A and B. And what we want to do is we want to return the sum of A and B. And that's it. So that's very, very self-explanatory. All we're doing is we're creating effectively a function called add and add takes in two parameters. And in this case, we're just going to assume that these parameters are going to be something that can be added. So numbers and strings, for instance, but we're going to work with numbers for now anyway. And once we pass in two values, this method is going to return the sum of those two values. We can do the same thing using the minus function of a calculator. So we can say something like minus and we can say A and B. And then we can return A minus B. And let's just close the method. Okay. So now we have a very simple class that does something. Now for the moment, let's not worry too much about what a class is and what functions are. The assumption for this particular video is that you know what a general class is, what it's supposed to be, what is the difference between a good class and a bad class, and how to write functions in a class, and so on. We're not going to kind of dwell on that because that would be kind of diverging from what we're trying to do here, which is to simply write tests for a given class. All right, so I have a class somewhere. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I've just left this class in the same file as the test file. So now that we have our test, what I want to do is actually 
use this class inside our test. And how can we do that? Well, the first thing we should do is try to instantiate the calculator class and effectively create a copy of it inside our test. So how do we do that? Well, we can use the var keyword in JavaScript and let's just call it, for example, uh, calculate. And we're going to place a copy of the calculator class in calculate. And the way we would do this would be something like new calculator. So what this does is this creates a copy of the calculator class and places it inside this calculate variable. And now that we have this calculate variable, which as said, contains a copy of the calculator class. In other words, it contains a copy of the add and the minus functions. We can start to use them in our test. So for example, we can do something like this. We can say something like console log. And let's just do something like calculate dot add. And let's say one is the first number we want to pass in and three is the second. And let's get rid of this comment for now. We'll do the same thing here. So we will say something such as console.log calculate and let's call the minus function this time. And in here we're going to say five and four. And again, let's get rid of this log also. And let's get rid of this describe just to make it a little bit more easy and more specific. Right, so now let's run this test and see what happens. So I'm not back to my terminal. I'm just going to run Jasmine again. And I can see that I have some syntax error somewhere. Okay, so let's go and resolve that. So it looks like I missed out a bracket. Okay, so we'll go back to the terminal and rerun the test. And I can see that we got a 4 for the first test and a 1 for the second. If I go back, I can see that 1 plus 3 is in fact 4 and 5 minus 4 is in fact 1. So this is how you would actually use a class that you've created in your test. Now the next thing to do is this is simply not good enough. A test shouldn't validate something through a log. You need to validate it through some sort of check. Now Jasmine has built-in checks called expectations. So let's write a really simple expect. So what is happening here? Over here, we're using a method called expect. Now this expect is effectively a function that we get as part of Jasmine. This allows us to check or validate or confirm that something has the value of something else. So in this case, we're basically saying when I call this add method and are passing these two numbers. I expect the value to be 4. So this is effectively an assertion or an expectation that we make through Jasmine. We can do exactly the same thing for the minus function. Okay, so let's take out the logs and let's save this. 
Now if we run this we should see both tests passing. So I'm just going to say Jasmine and I can see that two tests ran and they both passed. Just to confirm that our tests are actually working what we can now do is go back to our test file and change them to something that we expect them not to be. In other words, fail the test purposefully. So in here, instead of 4, let's say something like 5. Now 1 plus 3 is in fact 4, but we're going to say we expect a 5. So this should now come back and fail. In here, 5 minus 4, let's say something like 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2, but we're going to leave it as a 1 for now. So let's save this and let's run the test. So now as you can see, it ran two specs and they both failed. If we have a look at the actual failures, so we can see that this is now literally typing out the name of the described block followed by the name of the test and it says that the test itself expected a 4, but it instead found a 5. If we look at the second test, it expected a 2, but it instead found a 1. So we can use what are called expect to literally confirm the behavior of a given class. Now we will talk about expects in much more detail in the next video. The focus of this video was to simply see how we can actually begin to write a test that actually gives us meaningful data. So what have we covered in this video? In this video we looked at how to write a very simple class in JavaScript and then to use that class in a test. We also looked at a very basic introduction to expectations in Jasmine which allow us to perform some kind of validation check which we will go through in much more detail in the next video. Many thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.